Was Cyberpunk 2077 reviewed too harshly when it came to its release? Well, CD Projekt Red seems to think so. One of the communication leads at CD Projekt Red was quoted saying, I actually believe Cyberpunk on launch was way better than it was received. Which that statement alone is cause for just like a 20 minute long rant video because the launch of Cyberpunk 2077 was such a debacle. It was a nightmare for so many people, the gamers, as well as CD Projekt Red. If you guys remember that Cyberpunk was removed from the PlayStation Store because of how poorly it performed. That was soon after launch back in December 17th of 2020. I've never seen a large scale game like Cyberpunk get released and then removed because of its poor functionality. I mean, think of a game like the Master Chief Collection back in 2014. That game straight up did not work, but you could always pay $60 to play it. The communications boss even said that the first review that came in were actually really positive but then it became the cool thing to not like it and went from hero to zero really fast continuing on saying that was the tough moment we didn't know what was happening we knew that the game is great yes we can improve it yes we need to take time to do it and we need to rebuild some stuff. That took us a lot of time, but I don't believe we were ever broken. We were always like, let's do this. Now, was Cyberpunk 2077 broken? Like as in you just could not play the game? Well, no, you could still play it and you could still get through the game most of the time, but the process of getting through the game at launch was a certain situation to say the least. I bought the game back at launch and the play experience was so bad that I just dropped the game. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna let them patch the game up a bit and I'll come back to it. And so I've actually been playing the game again recently in anticipation of Starfield, because I knew once that game comes out, it's gonna take over my life. So I wanna actually have a chance to finish Cyberpunk before Starfield comes out. And well, these are some of the bugs that still exist in the game. That's one of my favorite bugs within this game that's stuck around even from launch until this day. That's like the big wow moment of the game, right? Where you you and Jackie go on this big montage to showcase how cool Night City is and how best of buds you are. And welcome to Night City and everyone's T posing without a head. Or this other time I'm going through the brain dance tutorial and then Evelyn just kind of starts floating across the floor. It's still in a chair pose, but I don't know why she's moving, but she is. I've also had experiences of going to different sections of the city City and just nothing populates at all so there definitely are some issues with the game still and at this point I don't fully expect them to be addressed and completely fixed I think cyberpunk's always gonna be a bit of a buggy game but not in that kind of like Bethesda buggy charm it's just gonna be like why is this not working kind of bug but I think we all can agree that underneath all the crazy bugs and glitches that were in cyberpunk 2077 there actually was a good game hidden underneath all that it was just you're constantly taking out the experience which that's a huge part about rpg games is being immersed in the world and to feel like you're just lost within the experience but when evelyn parker's floating across the map for whatever reason you get taken out realizing yeah i'm still playing a game the comps director did say that it's really hard to change a company when you have to deliver something and you have a deadline it's not the best moment for that everyone was waiting for the release these changes would have happened anyways but in cyberpunk situation it was another motivation Innovation. It was a wake up call to say, let's rebuild, let's restructure, let's rethink. What can we learn from this that's not easy to fix? And for the launch of Cyberpunk 2077, like they knew the game was a complete mess, but they shipped it anyways. And so that not only involves just having to refix the game, but also restructure how you function as a company. And CD Projekt Red has come out to say like that's what their motives are, but we haven't really seen anything since the launch of that game though we do have the phantom liberty dlc coming out this fall which apparently overhauls a massive amount of cyberpunk 2077's gameplay mechanics one being like the wanted system within the game that actually functioned properly and quote saying all the core main systems have been redone or updated in a major way so according to cd project red 
Phantom Liberty would be a fantastic time for people to come back in and experience Cyberpunk 2077. If you never finished the game or if you played the game, don't have that fond of memories of it, it's a great time to kind of relive it and go, oh, that was the original intention of all this stuff. There was a playable demo of Phantom Liberty at Summer Game Fest and a lot of game journalists were able to jump in and play it. I was at Summer Game Fest and I did have a chance to sign up for it, but everything was taken up so quickly. But by the time I was at the event, I didn't have a chance. So it seems like a lot of the updates that they're making with the Phantom Liberty DLC that it's actually making a huge step forward when it comes to Cyberpunk to maybe be even that ideal release experience that people were kind of hoping for when it comes to this game because people just had really high hopes for Cyberpunk 2077 as it was looking like the first real next gen game. But then when people got the game and it played like, well, modern gaming. People were definitely upset with it. And that definitely does happen when it comes to social media and game reviews that there is a bit of a snowball effect that happens that once one person posts a negative thing, like a negative review, and other people tend to agree with that, it can kind of snowball into something larger than it actually is. So yeah, the content that was in the game for Cyberpunk was fantastic. The hard part was actually being able to play it because there were so many distracting factors of how poorly the game functioned. But was Cyberpunk 2077 harshly reviewed to the point where it was an exaggeration? I wouldn't say so.